A police standoff that lasted nearly two days is over. Investigators say the suspect was shot. Within the last hour and a half, our crew saw them wheel the man out on a stretcher and load him into a North Memorial helicopter. Thanks for watching WCCO and CBS News Minnesota. That standoff began overnight Tuesday in St. Michael. Investigators say 39 year old Brandon Gardas barricaded himself inside his home and then shot at officers. Our Jeff Wagner is live in St. Michael right now. So, uh, Jeff, what happened? Yeah, it was around 8.30 that investigators say they went into Gardas's home to try and arrest him. An armed confrontation occurred, and that's when he was shot, and that's where we pick up with that video of the ambulance in the parking lot, which was behind me at St. Michael Elementary, where you see Gardas being taken out of the ambulance and eventually being put into that helicopter to be sent to North Memorial. We don't know the status of his injuries or his condition, again, other than that he was shot during that armed confrontation. Now, neighbors have been wondering, when will this this end. So many, so many had to be evacuated from their homes. Others couldn't even get to their homes because the roads were blocked. The situation was a tense one and one that officers did not want to rush to an ending. Do we need to shelter in place? Is, or is it okay for my kids to play outside? Their questions, Emily Holland and so many more have been asking for two days now as several law enforcement agencies carefully try to defuse a potentially deadly situation. A gunman identified as Brandon Gardas refusing to leave his home, even firing at officers. And knowing that uh, he's already shot rounds towards officers, uh, that's got to be paramount in the decisions. The incident started as a 911 call about a man with a gun arguing with a woman. Other children were in the home as well, but by Tuesday night, investigators say Gardas was alone inside. Wright County Sheriff Sean Derringer says officers have fired tear gas into the home. Heard here in the background of our video on several occasions. If he does get out, will he come this way? Will he go through the woods and come to my house? That's right, <laughs> right there. WCCO's drone shows armored vehicles in Gardas's yard. The homes nearby were evacuated. Wednesday evening, the Bloomington bomb squad arrived along with some heavy equipment. So as long as he's going to communicate with us, sporadic as it is, we are going to continue to be here for as long as we can to try to bring a peaceful resolution to the situation. My kids just want to play outside and they don't understand what's going on. You know, they're a year and three years old, so they don't know, you know, but it's scary. Again, the hope was for a peaceful ending, but we do know again that shots were fired and Gardas was shot. No law enforcement personnel were hurt in this uh, incident. And just a reminder to the people who live in this area, the area around his home will remain secured for investigation purposes. So they're asking people to actually stay away from the neighborhood around Gardas's home. Okay, uh, Jeff Wagner live in St. Michael. Thank you.